statements. We'll start with Mr. Shabbat of Ohio. Thank you, Madam Chair and Ranking Member Deutsch uh, for your continued dedication to this important issue. I know that you have both uh, been, I kind of think, an inspiration of the rest of us on the committee for how doggedly uh, you have taken this, this on, and, and thank you for doing that. And I also want to express um, our uh, sincere admiration for our witnesses uh, here today, all three. Uh, your willingness uh, to testify on these abhorrent cases is a testament not only of your love for your family members, uh, but to your courage and tenacity in standing up for what is just and, and what is right. Uh, Mr. Levinson, as we know, is the longest held U.S. civilian in American history, and Iranian officials have done little to live up to their commitments to work through the cases uh, to assist the United States to investigate Mr. Levinson's uh, disappearance. And Iran, I'm almost out of time, Iran has um, continued to take people hostage. Uh, they took people before uh, the, uh, uh, the agreement with Iran, and they've taken people uh, since then. So it seems that nothing has worked to change uh, the way they value human life. Uh, it's, it's, it's a terrible situation, and uh, to have a loved one outside your family uh, under the circumstances you have is just something that no human being should have to uh, be under those circumstances. And this is on Iran. I yield back. 